Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 8 for our PCNA series. Now in this video we are going to talk about config management basically. So when we do any configuration in Palo Alto, how can we basically take a backup, how exactly, uh, what are the options that is available, we are going to explore it in this video. Okay. So we'll understand what are the type of configuration which is available in Palo Alto Firewall. How can we take a backup? What are the options that is available for taking a backup? And also we are going to focus on the what is data plane, what is control plane or management plane and what is the difference between control plane and data plane. Right. So as we are going to focus on the configuration area as well as we are going to focus how the traffic will be classifies as a control plane traffic or data plane traffic okay so i'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand and it will be useful in real world environment as well as this are very much important for interview as well and also i will request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so without any further delay let's get started So friends, first of all, we'll understand what are the types of configuration which is there in Palo Alto. With the help of this image, we'll try to understand. So firewall configuration types are two types. One is running configuration. The other is candidate configuration. Okay. So let's understand the running configuration and the candidate configuration. What are those? Okay. Now running configuration, which is basically active on the firewall if i say active meaning that which is already committed so how the change process or how the configuration change happens is like this so you have to log into palo alto first you do your changes okay and then you commit it now the change is will be active in Palo Alto Firewall once you commit it. So after you commit, the configuration will become active. That is known as running configuration. And the candidate configuration. So basically you logged into Palo Alto Firewall. You did the change, but the change is not implemented, which is called as candidate in configuration. Okay. Now, right now, this configuration is basically not implemented or it will not be implement or it will not be enforced to the traffic which is going through Palo Alto firewall. Okay. So if I have created a rule in my change and the traffic is flowing in Palo Alto firewall, this rule will not be in the, in the consideration because it's not committed till now. That is the reason. So candidate configuration is not committed running configuration, which is already committed. Okay. So friends, now we'll see how we can take a backup. How can we revert the changes? How can we save the changes with the help of this the image? We'll try to understand this. Okay. Now to understand this better, let's divide this one into two parts. Okay. One is revert saved load and the other one is export and import. Now this is our Palo Alto firewall. Okay. And the Palo Alto firewall in our environment, we have a backup server. So this is our backup server where we basically store our configuration, right? Now, if I am using a external storage for storing the configuration of my Palo Alto device, that where export and import will come into the picture. We are not using the local storage of Palo Alto. We are using the external storage. Okay. So in this case, what happens is 
now i am exporting the named configuration snapshot so let's say i have did the change now i want to store it so i'll just export this with a name or uh, in the name i'll just mention the date that the change is for that day right now export the configuration version now exporting the configuration version has different kinds of versions one we can if you are attached to panorama you will be sending the panorama configuration or else if you want only the firewall part configuration you can also send it to that right so friends let's understand and export what are the option that is available so export the named configuration snapshot so let's say i did any changes in palo alto firewall and i want to uh, save the configuration or take a backup of the configuration in external storage device the other option is like when you have panorama or it is managed by panorama then in that case if you want to take a backup you can use the export configuration version okay and export the device state now exporting the device state has lot many information let's say for an example if you are running group vpn or if you have certificates or if you basically it takes your entire configuration okay uh, i'll give you the link wherein you will find all the information related what are the things which gets copied uh, those things cannot be covered here because it will be the video will become really large so and there is no point discussing and so you can just go and check that particular points what are the configuration gets copied in the device state now if you want to import it from the backup server external backup servers so you can use the name uh, from how you have done this port you can basically import it from backup to Pan, uh, palo alto and the same thing is basically for importing the device state example can be like importing the device state is like uh, if you want to replace a old device with a new device uh, importing the device state will be the better option okay now let's understand about the revert saved and load guys okay now revert to the last saved configuration right so what does it mean over here is like if you have done some changes like let's say you perform a change and after that you want to revert back to the last save configuration so let's say the configuration revision number was 5 and you did the change now it is 6 and you want to move back to 5 you can use revert now revert to the running configuration so let's say you are doing some candidate configuration which is not committed okay and you want to go back to the running configuration to same with the 5 okay you have not committed it before committing okay so it's not committed if before committing if you want to go back to the old version you can basically go with the help of revert running configuration now this is the safe configuration guys so let's say you have done the changes and you want to save it for now so let's say for an example you perform a change you log into palo alto okay you perform the change and after that change uh, implemented successfully and you want to to save that particular configuration you use this with the name right save the candidate configuration over here so save the configuration let's say uh, you are doing you are performing some change and in between you have you have to do some other work uh, you want to make that change in the draft so in that particular case you can put the uh, configuration uh, you can save the candidate configuration okay now load the name configuration the way you have saved the configuration if you want to load the same configuration you can basically load the same configuration right now lay load the configuration version so there are so there are few versions which which will be available so whenever you do any changes 
there will be a version which gets created version 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right if you are at version 10 and you want to move back to version 5 you can basically load the configuration version okay now all these things will be performed locally because all these actions will be used local storage of Palo Alto firewall okay and I'll give you a link wherein you can read what is revert if you are not able to understand in this video you can just read about revert save load export and import and what will be covered in state what will be covered in device state everything will be there okay so friends now we'll understand what is data plane what is control plane and management plane like somebody says control plane somebody's management plane and what is the difference between a data plane and control plane with the help of this diagram these two scenarios and this image will try to understand this okay now here is the scenario number one and scenario number two okay now in scenario number two this pc is basically sending a ssh traffic towards palo alto and palo alto is forwarding towards the router so the Palo Alto is what it is doing. It is filtering the traffic, basically checking the traffic and sending or forwarding to router. But in scenario number one, the PC is directly sending the traffic towards Palo Alto. Now the first scenario is basically it's a control plane with the respect of Palo Alto. But in the scenario number second, it is a data plane for the Palo Alto. Let's understand how and why. Now, when we are sending a SSH traffic, the Palo Alto has to respond to this particular traffic because the Palo Alto is crafting the traffic and sending to me, sending the reply. So for him, it is a control plane or a management plane. We can say whatever we want, right? But here, the Palo Alto is not responsible, responsible for replying to this traffic. The traffic is coming. He is processing the traffic and sending towards the router. Now router will respond to that particular traffic. Okay. So target is not here the Palo Alto. The target is router. So as he just process the traffic, it is a data plane for Palo Alto firewall. Because in this, he'll try to find out the policy. He checks the URL filtering or content ID or anything, whatever he needs to find. He'll try to find the routing tables and all. And after that, he'll forward the traffic. Okay. So he just processing the traffic for processing the traffic. It is known as data plane and the traffic which needs to be responded by the which is known as management plane. So to the device is known as control plane through the device is known as data plane okay so try understanding or if you take any of the scenario let's say the Palo Alto is sending log so who is generating this log sending this log to a log server so he's generating the tra uh, traffic Palo Alto is generating the traffic as Palo Alto is generating or crafting that particular traffic it is control plane for him right if I am checking an application, what application this PC is sending to this router? So I am basically analyzing the traffic. I'm not responding to the traffic. I'm analyzing the traffic that is known as data play. Okay. Just think about it to the device through the device, right? Now, right now we are talking with respect to Palo Alto. I'm not talking about with respect to any other device. Right now, only focus is Palo Alto. In second scenario, if my focus is router, 
then for this the router will be for from perspective of router this is a control plane traffic this is not data plane traffic but we are talking about with respect to Palo Alto over here so in this case the Palo Alto for Palo Alto it is a data plane traffic for scenario one this is a control plane traffic okay now let's understand one more thing let's say I log in through GUI HTTPS okay and I'm doing some changes over here as whenever I'm doing the changes and I'm putting as a commit or else this HTTPS traffic so I'm putting uh, I'm sending some action and the action is getting performed in Palo Alto and is responding now the configuration of Palo Alto as well it comes under control plane because I am doing some changes and he is responding with that particular modification. So configuration, logging, reporting all will come under control plane. But if you see the data plane, you will have signature matching, security processing or network processing. Everything will come under. So the things, the traffic which needs to be responded by Palo Alto control plane which is only processed by Palo Alto, not response, that is a data plane. The other method is to the device is basically control traffic through the device. It is a data plane traffic. Okay. So friends, this is what I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Okay. If you like this video, like if you have increased your knowledge or you have got to know something new or if you can share your experience uh, to the comment and if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any suggestion for my videos please put it uh, or uh, put it on the comments or you can send me an email through gmail or uh, send me message through facebook instagram okay thank you so much i'll see you in the next